Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today is voting day. That's, of course, if you live in the United States. If you don't live in the United States, go about your day. But if you live in America, go out and fucking vote. It is almost 7 o'clock this morning, and I have already voted. Um, a word about my voting place, though. It was full of, like, older people. Like, the people running the election were older, and a lot of people who were voting were older. Um... Which was weird to me. I, I, get, I thought they lived in like a relatively young area of uh, Sussex County, but apparently no. And well, what's even weirder is for like the local uh, side of my government, um, there were no Democrats to vote for. That is just weird to me that no Democrat has stood up and said, I'm going to run in this city. Or... I don't know what the fuck where I live is considered the town, city, township, whatever the fuck. But, <laughs> yeah, like, there's no Democrats locally that I could um, vote for. And the Board of Education, I really don't. Um, I didn't know enough about the people. There were, like, four people, and you had to vote for three. I didn't really know enough about them. And I feel a little bit... Um, Stupid that I didn't learn about it sooner. Um, I did get involved in local politics, but I, I didn't know enough about the people who were running. And next year or uh, next time elections come up, I will actually learn about the people who are locally in my area, unless I fucking move again, in which case I will find out about the people where I move. Uh, I will learn about their positions. Now, now that I got that portion of the video out of the way, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone with this video, me telling you that I voted and the makeup of my voting place, but also talking about a game that takes place in the very beginnings of this country. And that game is Assassin's Creed 3. And this is just going to be first impressions. I'm not going to talk about the story too much. Um... And I'm not even really that far into the game, I think, so I'm not gonna... I don't know how long it'll take me to finish it, get like 100% of it done, collectibles and all that shit. But overall, so far, I actually love the game a lot, and I like that it is taking place in the very birth of this country. It takes place a little bit before the beginning, before the beginning of the country and before the revolution. But um, aside from that... Like, it takes place around the time of the revolution. And I like that they actually did go from, like... They went from Middle East, Italy, fucking... Uh, revolutionary era America. And I hope they stay in America. They go from, like, maybe... Maybe they go to the abolition of slavery area, era, like the 1800s, 1850s, and 60s. Um... Because that'd be fucking cool, because then you could work with uh, Abraham Lincoln, or work with the uh, John Wilkes Booth thing. That that would be the cool next step for the game, uh, this game franchise. Um, <laughs> like, you're related to John Wilkes Booth, but John Wilkes Booth was an, was an assassin, and Abraham Lincoln was a fucking Templar, and shit like that. That'd be fucking cool, in my opinion, but... Um, it's pretty cool, because I'll talk about some of the characters you meet, because I think it was revealed in trailers and stuff, but, like, you meet Benjamin Franklin, which is fucking weird. Um, you meet, <laughs> you meet other founding fathers, too, and it's fucking weird and kooky and strange and amazing. Uh, I, I like the free running in this game, though, like... The free running is so much better in this game. And I think that might be because of the new engine that they're running off of. Um, yeah. Uh, I do like the combat, too. I think that's also because of the engine. Um, and it just is an, a fucking amazing game. I wish I had a an uh, HD TV so that way I could play it in full HD. But I have not an HD TV yet. So there's that. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, other than the game's good, the story's good, it's fucking awesome. Um, 
and they actually reference other people. Uh, I'll say I'll say that much. Like they actually reference Ezio in uh, this game, which is really fucking cool. Because in the other games, I they mentioned Altair, but there wasn't that much of a time gap really from Altair to Ezio because <laughs> we're all within like. I don't know, a couple hundred years of each other. This goes from, like, 1400s to the 1700s, but it's not only, like, it, it's also not in the same region. I mean, Revelations takes place in Constantinople, which is in that same general area. This is across the fucking pond. This is fucking... And, and I like that. I really do. Um... And it, like, that they just sort of wink at that and, like, oh, this is blah, blah, blah. Fuck it, like it. Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> Can't really ramble on much else. Um, yeah. So, go out and vote, motherfuckers. Go out and vote today. I don't care if you have to shiv an old lady to fucking vote. Shiv that old lady and fucking vote. <laughs> Don't really go out and shit an old lady. lady. <sighs> I had to say that because there are some stupid motherfuckers out there. I'm Resonator Zen. I voted today. Assassin's Creed 3 looks fucking amazing and is amazing. And go out and buy the game and go out and vote today. Peace out.